Hello students, today we are going to discuss one method for studying anti-inflammatory activity that is cotton wool granuloma and this method is widely used for the chronic inflammatory condition. This method also determine the testing the proliferative phase or granuloma formation in the animal. So if you like this video then kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Now this method was first described by Mia et al. in 1950 and is used for the chronic inflammation uh, study. And these methods also tested the proliferative phase or the granuloma formation. So in this picture you have observed this is a granuloma. So granuloma is the granules like lesion and oma means the true tumor. But here in this case, uh, we are not using as a cancer tumor this uh, term, but it indicates the localized inflammation mass or collection of the macrophages. So what is the rationale for this study? So the body system is that whenever we insert anything inside the body, the body considered is as a foreign material and body will try to defense that uh, foreign material. So in this case, we use the cotton wool, which is considered as a foreign body. And when it is ins inserted into the animal's body, then animal's body will start collecting the giant cell as well as the undifferentiated connective tissue along with the <coughs> fluid infiltration. So this will going to accumulate on this cotton wool. And then this weight of the cotton wool will going to increases. And here, if you observe the weight of the cotton wool will be greater than the initial because here the giant cell infiltration and undifferentiated connective tissues, they get deposited on this uh, wool. So the differences between initial and final will give you the uh, net, net dry weight of the connective tissue as associated with this cotton pellet, which is a direct indication of anti-inflammatory activity of the drug. Now, what is the procedure? In this procedure, you can use a male uh, albino rat whose weight is 232 to 50 gram. Anesthetize the rat, then shave the back skin of the rat and disinfect it with 70% of ethanol. Then with the help of sharp knife, you can make an incision up to two centimeter on the rat. Once the incision were made, you can make a uh, pocket with the forcep that is subcutaneous pocket on the scapular region. And in this region, you have to insert a cotton pellet, sterilized cotton pellet. The weight is up to 20 milligram. And then you suture this incision. Once the incision were suture, then you can administer your drug of interest by subcutaneous or oral route to the animal up to the seven days. And after seven days, that is on the eighth day, sacrifice the animal and remove the pellets. In this picture, you have observed that after sacrificing the animal, you can observe here there is a pellet. So remove the pellets, then dry the pellets until you get the constant weight. And then this is the cotton wool pellets, which having the deposition of the connective tissues and all infiltration material. So this is your initial uh, pellets, which were inserted. And this is the last after seven days. So the differences between final and initial will give you the uh, deposition of the connective tissue and the giant cell on the pellets, which gives you the net dry weight of the tissue. So this will gives you the idea about the anti-inflammatory activity of the drug. So now a small presentation is uh, attached to this presentation. Just go through it, how it will. Uh, then anesthetize the rat by means of the ether. Then you have to give a cut. Before that, you have to remove this fur area of the rat. 
and then you disinfect this part with 70% ethanol. After that, you give a small cut which is near about 1 to 2 cm. After that, you can pull the skin portion and then make a subcutaneous pouch on both the side. So, by sub from subcutaneous layer, you can make a pouch. Then after, you can have a sterile cotton pellet. Then you use, you insert this pellet into the subcutaneous pouch and at this place, you remove these pellets. So on both the side, you can keep the pellets of this cotton. Then you can have the surgical thread and then suture this part. So once you suture, then you keep the animal for 7 days and after 7 days, in between 7 days, you can give the treatment part. Then you sacrifice the animal by euthanasia, remove this suture and then again by the help of the forceps, you can remove this cotton pellets. Then you can wet this cotton pellet and the differences in the weight from initial to final gives you the formation of granuloma. Thank you.